Okay, let's see what it takes to take apart the 8010. We're gonna do this all the way together. I still have the lanyard on. Let's try this. Alright, so we saw me take apart the 8015 and I've had a bunch of requests to take apart the 10. I'm gonna get some serious try to get some serious light on the subject. So if it's too shiny, it's only because I'm trying to get light directly on what we're doing here. Alright, so first things first, let's get the lanyard off. Cut through there real quick. Alright. Make another one of those jobbers. All right, so now this is all going to be on camera and we'll be able to see what we're doing together. So let's figure out what this pivot is. Now, the last time I did the 8010, I settled on a 9 and then got a lot of re responses that it was the 10. So let's start with the 10. 10. Look, look how easy that's coming out. I haven't taken this apart at all, so doesn't look like there's a whole lot of lock height, or maybe all the smacking I did on it loosened it up nicely. But that was really about as simple as you're gonna get. Well, let me put that away. That's important. That was something else I was taking apart. All right, so there you go with that. Now we can either try to knock that pivot out a little bit. All right, I haven't got my Demco official hole in the hockey puck thing. I wouldn't mind getting one of those or just drilling one out, but I haven't done it yet. So let's get our little jobber here. Let's find our little piece here that we're gonna put in the hole. My little broken screwdriver will go in the hole nicely. And then you just kind of like give a little tap, 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 tap. So it comes out, comes out pretty easily. You don't have to beat it to death. So there you go with that. Let's put it over there on our little pad. All right, so let's pull that blade out so we don't have to worry about that thing opening up on us. Now look, this one came out with the bronze washer. The bronze washer hits the scale. The nylon washer hits the blade. So that's kind of important to remember when you're putting it back together. Although somebody did tell me that they switched them out and it it helped so maybe they got something going there i'm gonna try and get that other washer out of there just so i don't lose it in the shuffle of of uh, getting this thing apart so get that out let it slip out of there a little bit all right there we go bronze washer on the scales nylon washer goes on the knife itself okay so now let's figure out what's going on here okay so that's a four which has no no place here this is an eight is that an eight it says eight okay so the eight is too big i'm thinking it's gonna be a six so let's find a six where is this there's a seven you know, if I had any organizational skills, I would have put these all back where they go. But then that wouldn't be fun. All right, let me find the six here. So, I'm serious. We're doing this as I'm doing it. So, I'm kind of going with you guys, learning and whatnot here. And exposing to the world that I can't see worth a flip. All right. Let's just start asking for coins on the side of the road. That's a seven. The other day I couldn't find a seven. Saved my life. And all I got is sevens. That's a seven. Holy freak. All right. Seven. Seven. There's a five. Wow. Let's split the difference on that. How's that sound? All right. Six. Hold it. Was that a six or an eight? No, that's a six. All right, I'm guessing it's a six. All right, there's the six, so yeah. Let's keep the eight on that one. Pull out our other one here and stick the six in there. All right, so here goes the six. Six. That came out really easily. 
That one's loosened up. Not a problem there. All right, that one already wants to come out. That one came out too. They got a little blue Loctite on here, but it doesn't feel really that jammed up, so it's not a problem. Another six. Now, I've, like I said, I've done the customs on these. It wasn't a huge problem. The idea of just taking apart a knife that cost that much, you know, this being a $140 knife makes me far braver than I was with the other ones. All right, so we got all the screws out of that side. Let's see if we can get that scale off without knocking the mess out of it. Let's see. We get some, get some little leeway in there. Yeah, I can feel it giving a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little pry tool and just slowly kind of work it apart. You don't want to get in a hurry and scratch up your knife. Even though I did abuse this thing the other day. Okay. So the pry tool is not really doing it. We might have to do the smack the pin method of getting this thing loosened. So let's take a... Uh, Let's take a, what do you think, an eight? Just whack on it a little bit. That seems to be working a little. There we go, got the first scale off. Nice and oily there. Let's get this scale off too. See if we can't get the pry bar in there. Now go slow and don't jerk your stuff around and start throwing things around because you'll lose a screw and then you'll be looking in the carpet with a giant magnet and calling in children from the neighborhood to help you look with their young young people eyes. All right, so there you go. There's that pin that goes in there. Make sure you separate those pins as they come out. And there you go. There's the aluminum scale that's on the inside of that one. You put that over here with his his friend so we don't get those mixed up now that's what the triad lock looks like on the inside pretty cool so you got the spring jamming up there just remember when you put the spring back in the long part goes in there and it jams up into that lock bar in case you get turned around and confused all right now here's the thing i like to do i like to get this pin out so I'll, well that pin's not going to come out well, I usually like to do that. All right, well, then let's just see if we can't get the uh, lock bar off of here. Now go slow. You don't want pins flying across the room and springs going behind the piano. You never get to see them again. All right, so there's the lock bar there. Hey, let's turn that blade that way so as not to turn this video into a must-watch video. All right, now I'll just pull this one out here. Okay. Put that in the middle so we know that's from the middle. Get your lock spring out. Remember, long part in the slot, and then it jams up in the small part into the lock bar. Long part in the slot, small part jams up into the lock bar. All right. So there's that. I don't know if we can get this one out yet. All right. Now we just flip it over. Get these screws out. There we go. And take off the clip here, just like so, not a big problem. This is really not too hard to take apart. Put it back together, eh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it takes patience and memory and things I don't have, like small childlike fingers. I have childlike wonder, I just don't have childlike fingers. All right, I can already feel the backspacer. There you go, coming off. Just put that there, the back spacer. Now this clip should come off. You can keep the clip together if you can. I don't, I don't mind doing that. Keep the clip with the screws there. Put the screw over here. Let's put these screws on this side, just so we know they're on a different side. And this should come pretty quickly off. Let's see. Let me just work that off? Is it going to work off? We're going to have a problem. Mean you're going to have a problem? We're going to have a problem? No? 
Huh? We have a problem, young man? Is that what it's going to be? All right, he wants to be a problem. So we have to smack the poop out of him a little bit, show him who's boss. Let's get, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Let's, no. I need the hockey hole. All right. All right, let's do this off camera a little bit. See if we can do this over here. There it goes, popped right out. The pin, there we go. There's the top pin there. And all broken down, scales, whatnot. I'm gonna clean up some of this oil. This is a super oily oil. Got me a little. These things are great. These are like 12 for 12 bucks over on Amazon. I bought a bunch of those. I probably have 50 bucks worth rolling around the house here. All right, so we clean up some of that oil. Not that it matters, I guess, if it's on the inside of the scale. I don't know, I just like the idea of it being cleaner than that. All right, there's that. Okay, so we got all the parts. There's the scales, there's the blade, there's the lock bar. Okay, the best thing to do, just go in reverse and put it all back together. So we'll put that pin back in there. If it wants to go back in. See, this is where it starts giving you problems. No, all right, let's give it a little tap. There we go, not a problem. Then we can put the clip back on. All this is gonna help keep that scale together while you do the horrible horror of trying to get the blade back in. That's always the thing I do. And sometimes I'll be like, yeah, I won. I got the blade back in, yay. And then I realize, no, it didn't win. Okay, now what you want to do is get this backspacer on here. I didn't, I didn't do that. So get that backspacer on there so you can get the holes that this thing will screw into. So let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can get the backspacer holes going. There we go. Got that one. All right, let's turn it over, see if we can't line that up a little bit. Looks like it's lined up pretty good. Let's see if we can get that in there. It's not lined up. Why give me problems? Why are we have a problem here? No, no. No. <laughs> All right, let's pull this back out. Like I said, don't rush this. And I've rushed it, and I thought I had it lined up, and I didn't. And I should have done it the right way. So let's line this up first, and then start screwing. All right, come on. Line it up. And then we can screw properly. Otherwise, we're just hunting in the dark here for a hole that's not there. Take your time. Put on some relaxing music. Lawrence Welk. Whatever bubbles your bubble. I don't recommend death metal during these trying times of backspacers and blades but there we go all right we got that in there okay so keep going here get that screw in there and what's this going to do is start putting it back together start holding it together for us which is cool you you want these you know it's more fun to take apart knives that you can keep together without a vice and monkey feet and extra orangutan toes and whatnot so there you go your knife's coming together just fine all right so, what was the last thing we did? Did we... Let's see. Was it the lock? Let's put the lock back together. Let's do that. All right. Long part in the slot. Small part jamming up. All right. Now, the good thing about separating these two is these things look really similar when you're putting this back together. At least they do on, on the knives like the recon and stuff. And if you mess that up, then you're going to end up with a rattle. And then you're going to spend days and days trying to figure out why you got that rattle. And it's only because you didn't put that thing back together right. All right, so this is what I will do with this. Oh, I didn't do it right. Let's try and back that out. 
Okay, there we go. Let's see if that'll work. Okay, now, now you're going to bend this lock down. There we go. Slides right into place. You got that tension you need. Need for that. All right. Now the little, the one thing you're gonna have to do now is start putting the blade back in. You're not gonna be able to, putting the blade back in once you have the scales on is a pain in the rear. So what I would like to do, what I would do is put the blade back in. Now you got to find that squared, squared off part of the pivot, and then you find that that is squared off towards the front there. Can you see that? So it's going to be squared off here and just make sure that they meet up and you don't get frustrated and start smacking stuff and cursing the day you were born. Things like that. Things like that can happen in these tense, tense situations. All right, so there you go. Washer on. Washer on. If you want extra lube or whatnot, now's the time to put it on. But this is pretty lubed up for me. Now you're gonna slide this blade on. Now you're gonna hold this lock bar down. Oh. Hold that lock bar down so you can get it in there. And there you go. All right. Man, that's a great lock, isn't that cool? I love looking at this thing. All right, now all you're gonna do is, oh, see, I almost did it again. I told you, I wasn't lying. Get those washers, make sure. Remember nylon towards the blade bronze towards the scale unless you want to try something different like that one guy was talking about we're not going to try that here for right now let's get this back together all right there you go make sure we're not forgetting anything so you don't hear me curse and it turns into the jerky video all right there you go there is that now what i like to do is get the pivot in first i don't know why i like to do that but the idea of that pivot popping out and that blade coming out and us having to reassemble that blade thing is really upsetting. All right, where is, there it is. This is the eight. Was it the eight or no, it's the 10. The 10 for the pivot. Let's get that in there. Get that screwed in very nicely. This is about as smooth as any, any knife disassembly has ever gone for me, especially with a cold steel or uh, yeah, cold steel or custom Demco or something like that. Why do people keep texting me? I know who you are. I know who you are. I will get right back to you. You know who you are. All right, so here we go. Get that in there. I'm going to put all these in there at the same time so I can just start screwing them in. You know, chunky fingers like mine. Putting them in there is the hard part. All right, let me just get them tightened. So there we go. Now this has more parts than the 8015, so it took a little bit longer. But we didn't really have any issues, so that's kind of cool. The issue you're gonna have with the, the Demco's or the, the Cold Steel folders like this, they're gonna be putting these, reversing these pins. You're gonna have a problem with that, and you're gonna have a problem with figuring out the lock bar if you're not used to it. And, but that's about it. And you might have a little issue lining up this thing, but man, this thing really came together easily. Let's see if we got it in. There we go. Because at this moment, Jimmy Slash knew he'd messed up. Hey, if you took the time to put that pin in when I warned you, your knife is reassembled and perfect, good to go. If not, sit back and watch hilarity ensue as I try to make up for my mistake. Just about, just about where we want it. Let's see if there's any, nothing there. Feels like something's going on there though. Like we missed something. What did we miss? What did we miss, children? Oh, see, I told you, oh, we forgot one pin. Oh my gosh, see? You get to yapping, get to feeling good about life and you forget a pin. All right, that's what I get for being a Cocky, cocky, no good. All right, let's get that out. You knew I was doing that. Why didn't you warn me? 
You saw me doing it. You saw me making the mistake. That's good. That's good. So maybe you won't do it. All right. Remember the pen. Remember to put the pen in. Let's get that. Oh, man. I, did. I was like, man, that's really good action on that. What's going on? Oh, my gosh. Now you see the anger coming. <laughs> that's what I get. Quit texting me. No, I can't blame it on that. This is my badge. I should have paid attention. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Maybe I splice this to make it look like I did it perfectly. Yeah. I think that'll work. Oh, man. Dead gummit. Oh, I hate this. All right, children. Oh, man. I got to take this whole thing apart. Oh, oh man. All right, this is a warning video. I ain't taking this apart. You're gonna see the mistakes I've made and I'm not gonna redo this video. I do not wanna redo this video. So, remember, don't make the mistake I made. Don't forget that pen. I'll put that as a warning to not forget the pen, so. I'll make sure you don't make the same mistake I did. But I'm leaving this in here just to make it fun. That's okay. Just to show you that I'm a moron. All right, let's see. We gotta knock the pins out again. Dad gum it. I was doing so good. I was gonna go get me a snack. I was gonna watch the true detective. And now here I am banging pins out again. Oh this is not good. Oh, come on. You can stop the video. Fast forward it. Now this daggum thing doesn't want to work on this. Son of a gun. Oh, freak. All right, let's see. Is that coming apart? Yeah, here it goes. Where's our pry tool? All right, let's get this thing apart. There we go. We'll pry there, we'll pry there. Still gonna be a pain in the butt there. All right, let me get this over here. Man. All right, seriously, make sure you don't make that mistake because this is a pain in the rear now. It went from being fun to just being a pain. Right, put that off there. Everything goes out the window now. Now I'm just gonna break this with a hammer. Dead gum it. All right, all right. So let's see where the pain in the butt is. Look, children, don't forget this pen. This is the biggest pain in the butt pen. <laughs> Dead gum it. I was doing good. I knew I was too cocky. I knew it was too easy. That's all right. We're going to keep going. We will endeavor to persevere. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. Let's get this all back together. Oh, me. And I thought the worst part was going to be this squared off area. It was not. It was my own pride and stupidity. All right. So let's get... Oh, the washer's still on the blade there. Let's get that back on there. Make sure that the washer's on there. Now we got everything we need except our dignity. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let's get that on there. All right, locks in place. Remember, plastic washer to the blade, bronze washer to the scale. We have everything, I think so. If not, this is going in the garbage bin. All right, there we go. Let's get the other scale back on before we start cursing. All right, there we go. Screw that in. Almost done again. <laughs> We will see the super smooth action 
as that S35 blade slams into the lock bar. Man. That was frustrating. If y'all are still here, I appreciate it. This should have been a 17 minute video. Instead, I momoed it into 24 minutes of action and excitement without the action and excitement. All right, so let's get this all screwed in. Remember the pen. Remember the pen. Don't forget the pen. All right. <laughs> there we go. All together now. <laughs> I will never ever live this down. Okay, so now, let's see. There we go. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Feels a little bit loose. Let's see if we can tighten it just a little bit. It's all centered. A little bit too tight. Yeah, a little bit too tight. Let's loosen that up just a tad. I might slap some Loctite on this. There we go. There we go. Looks like we're good to go. <laughs> All right, I made it a lot harder than it should have been. It should have been super easy. If you guys just remember the pins, you know, write you some instructions or just watch the Momo video here and remember to follow it all the way through. So, leave me some comments down there. Do me a favor, subscribe. Nope, nope, nope. Like and hit the notification bell after you subscribe here. Zoop. And watch these videos here. All right, I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Have a good, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>